Today we're gonna to be going over a recipe that is a must have in your kitchen. This right here is a family favorite and I always have it in the fridge. We're gonna be making some frijoles de la olla. To go over our ingredients, frijoles de la olla does not take a whole lot of ingredients. Uh, to start off, we need two pounds of dried pinto beans. We're gonna need some chicken stock or some just plain old water and you can add any bone of any protein to give it some flavor. But I got a lot of chicken broth on stock, uh, so I gotta use some of that before it goes bad. I don't want it to go to waste. But like I said, you can just use regular water. A half of a small onion, three to four garlic cloves. And to add some delicious flavor, we're gonna be adding in one jalapeno. Other than what you see in front of you, we're just gonna need a little bit of salt to taste. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna add our beans into our pot that we're gonna be cooking them in. Now I've already rinsed these. You wanna make sure, especially if you're getting loose pinto beans, you wanna make sure that you check for rocks and other stuff and uh, clean them up. Now we're just gonna add in our chicken stock, our chicken broth, or your water. Okay, we're just gonna be filling up a couple inches above the beans because we're gonna let this soak for just a little bit and then uh, those are gonna expand so you want enough liquid in here. I'm gonna say it's about right there. Okay, so now we're gonna turn on our stove to about medium high heat we're gonna let this go for about 10 to 15 minutes just to bring it up to about 120 degrees uh, temperature for the chicken broth. Now, I am gonna let it soak just a little bit, but I'm only gonna let it soak for like about an hour, but you'll see that, you know, they do expand and that's really all we need. And then from there, we'll continue cooking. So I'm gonna let this go for about 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, I'll show you what next we're gonna do. All right, now that you can see that the water's come up to temperature, we're actually gonna go ahead and turn this off. So we're gonna cover this slightly and we're gonna let this soak for about one hour. So I'll uh, check back on you guys in about another hour and uh, see where our beans are at. Okay, it's been an hour. As you can see, our beans have doubled in size and they've expanded. So we actually need to add some more water. So since we added two pounds of beans in here, it actually needs eight cups per pound. So we need about 16 cups of water or broth. So the broth that I actually added in was about eight cups. So I'm gonna add in another eight cups of water. Now add in our onion, garlic, and jalapeno. Now I like to dice these up because, you know, you just put the whole thing in there. Most of the time it doesn't get eight. Uh, I'm not the only one that cooks in the house. So I chop it up so that way I can make sure that everything gets ate. Okay, finally we'll add in our salt. We'll add about two teaspoons of salt into this. Now I'll just go ahead and mix everything together. Now a little tip, you can soak your beans overnight. Now it doesn't happen all the time, but there can be a chance that if you do let it soak overnight, the water can count, like become sour. So just keep that in mind. If I were to let this go overnight, what I'll do is actually I'll rinse out that water and I would just use water. I wouldn't use uh, like any broth or anything like that or stock. Um, just use regular water, let it steep overnight. And then the next day, rinse the beans, you know, dump that water out, rinse the beans, and then, you know, fill it in with your chicken broth and stuff like that. So now we'll turn on the heat. We'll put it to about medium heat, but once it comes to temperature and we start to get a boil going, uh, then we'll turn it down to about medium low heat. So I'm gonna let this come to temperature. Okay, now that our water is up to a boil, we're gonna bring that to medium low heat. Okay, now we're gonna cover just a little bit. We're not covering all the way, but you don't want to leave it open because if you leave it open, that water is gonna evaporate, then you'll have to add more water. We're only doing two pounds, but I noticed when my mom does a huge pot, She'll have to add water because the water evaporated and it's, the water's too low, so you gotta add more water. So that's why I like to cover, just to kind of keep the water from evaporating. But we're not fully closing, and uh, we're gonna let it go for about an hour. Once it hits about an hour, we're gonna check it every 30 minutes after that. So uh, just let it do its thing, medium low heat, and uh, I'll check on it in about an hour. So I have some recipes coming and they all come back to recipes like this. So I'm gonna be making a lot of beans on the channel and, and what I do with them. So you're gonna be coming back to this recipe quite often because uh, I'm gonna be using this recipe in quite a few videos in the future. Okay, so it's been an hour. Let's go ahead and check on our beans. 
Now, if you notice that the water is getting low, you can add a little bit of water just to top it off. And just give this a stir. We're looking pretty good. If anything, we're just gonna be just checking for tenderness. You don't wanna overcook them because they end up being a mush. But uh, we're looking good. I'm gonna get a scoop of this and uh, we're gonna check the tenderness of the beans. So our beans took over about two hours to finish. To recap on the recipe, we soaked our beans for one hour with some heated chicken broth. And then once they expanded, we cooked them for about an hour. Uh, they slow cooked, they look, um, they look like some really good beans, nice and tender. So I'm gonna show you guys what I actually do with these. All right, in a pan, we're gonna turn it on to about medium heat. And we're gonna lay down some bacon fat. You can use manteca, lard, beef tallow, but uh, I've been reserving some of my bacon fat, especially since I knew I was gonna be making some beans today. Some of that bacon fat's gonna add some nice flavor. Okay, once your pan is heated up, we're gonna add in some of our beans. Since these are hot, we really don't have to be waiting for them to, to heat up. I, I just made these, so these are still hot. And beans actually smash easier when they're hot, so yeah, we don't have to wait on smashing this. Yeah, about right there is what, that should be enough for everybody to get a couple taquitos. We'll go ahead and start smashing. Now, if you want these a little bit looser, you can add as much moisture into it, but that bacon fat's definitely gonna give it some sodium. So, I only use two teaspoons of salt in this recipe, and the reason why I do that, because if I do, if I make frijoles puercos, I add bacon to it, so that actually makes it real salty. So, uh, yeah, the, the beans are a little behind on, on seasoning, but uh, you can always finish it off in whatever you're cooking. I'm gonna add a couple more, just maybe like a tablespoon or two at a time. Because I want like a real creamy bean. There, you could take it as far as you want. You can add milk to this. Uh, if you want it a little bit looser, I, I mean, it's, it's all up to you. Uh, but this still gives me some type of creamy structure just to be able to put on a tortilla. Put some salsa on it and some queso fresco. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready and uh, heat up a tortilla and we'll get into the taste test. All right, so we just heated up our tortilla. Laying out a good portion of those beans. If I had some fresh flour tortillas, man, that'd be awesome right now. Sprinkle a little bit of queso fresco right on top. And finally, a little bit of salsa rojo salsa chile de árbol. That's some really good stuff. This right here makes my morning. Sorry in front of you guys. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I really hope you like this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. Now I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.